Ah, hello there. I'm Bertrand Russell, a logician, philosopher, mathematician, and a passionate advocate for peace. I'm best known for my work on the foundations of mathematics, most notably my paradox, which we call Russell's paradox now. You may be wondering why you should stick around to hear about a paradox. Simply put, it's a puzzle that shakes the very foundations of logic and mathematics. Intriguing, isn't it? I was born in 1872 during the Victorian era, a time of steam power, industry, and major societal changes. I was orphaned young and raised by my paternal grandparents. It was a time of discovery and invention, but also of rigid societal norms, which I often found myself challenging, both in my personal life and in my work. Let's delve into my paradox, a conundrum that's both simple and infinitely perplexing. Picture a village with a unique rule for its sole barber. He must shave all those and only those who do not shave themselves. Now ponder this who shaves the barber. If the barber shaves himself, he contravenes the rule, as he is not supposed to shave those who shave themselves. Yet, if he doesn't shave himself, he again violates the rule, as he is tasked with shaving those who don't self-shave. This conundrum, this paradox, arose from my exploration into set theories, a mathematical logic branch dealing with sets or collections of objects. The barber analogy is an easy-to-grasp representation of the paradox, but let's go a bit deeper into the math of it. In set theory, some sets are members of themselves. For example, the set of all conceivable ideas is itself an idea, so it belongs to itself. Other sets like the set of all apples, do not. Now, let's consider the set of all sets that are not members of themselves. The question becomes, is this set a member of itself? If it is, then by definition, it shouldn't be. But if it isn't, then by definition, it should be. That's the essence of Russell's paradox, a problem that arises within the very foundations of set theory and logic. When I first presented my paradox, it sent shockwaves through the world of mathematics. Some resisted, others were thrilled at the challenge it posed. Today, it continues to be a cornerstone of discussions about the foundations of mathematics and has led to major developments in logic and set theory. So, what should you take away from our time together? Simply this, questioning even the most basic assumptions can lead to great discoveries don't be afraid to challenge what is taken for granted. After all, it's how we make progress. And who knows, you might be the next one to find a paradox that shakes the world. Keep wondering, keep questioning, and remember, every great journey begins with a single curious step.